I kid. You missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. Vane's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. But for Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. Disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a soddy. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. But with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I want to see about it. The princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> <laughs> On Congress Man's breakfast! Ouch. Save us a few bottles, eh? Think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects it. He this much. Tell me about the beach. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose.
Tell me about Edward Teach. What sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details now. Stop talking in here. Well, sir, he likes his drink. Only he makes him queer. Takes the usual rum flip and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the hold of his shit while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always this day. What the devil? Patch, sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation.
So Thatcher's been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was delighted. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Man. My only idiot father liked to brag about how he meant to purchase a ship of his own. Don't get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad will be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left shore. Right, Kenway. I've been musing on this plan of yours, this observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. One of them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Annie. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the Princess got in a spare time. The Princess? Slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the Sage aboard. Don't sink that slaver ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know, I know. Keep calm, mate. Remember what we're after. Keep wide of the fort, Captain. Those cannons are a long way. Ready, ship, can we? There's hundreds of minutes in the I know. I know. Trying to board that ship, not sink her. Bring them in for a steely kiss! We're going over, find the captain. Come at me, Royce James. You're scaring me back at brain. Guns and steel aren't louder than sticks and spittle things. I'll call them in over all that. Just find the captain. This captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll set a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging, jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! 
Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Lads! See, the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot, and, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tracer! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up, I'll tear out your organs, and stray your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Oh, well, well. The face of a good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! Now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! Now we damn near let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker! Now, let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering! Now, stay back and let me live in peace! I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you bait me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers, and you was the reason Jack Racker... They! Face me, man!
I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenades. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! I'll flush you out! Blow off some lame! This up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody dry, by all means. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher. Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly mug. Can't wait. I'll blow you to hell. Yeah. No. You goddamn fucking knee, Vane. <laughs> Nancy boy. You've only done half the fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe... You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. <laughs> 